Today we're talking about why I sell myself. This is one of the most popular fragrances right now in New York. Every billboard has this fragrance on it. Any Sephora that I go to, I talk to girls, I'm like, what fragrance do you recommend? They pick this one. So let's get into this review before you consider buying why I sell myself. It's gonna have the bergamot opening. As it dries down, you're gonna get some of the orange blossom, and then you're gonna get that massive dose of ambroxan. So it's an extremely mass appealing scent. It's fresh and clean, and it is unique, but at the same time familiar. Like it's so inoffensive, so mass appealing. Like if you're into Bleu de Chanel, Dior Sauvage, YSLY, EDP, you're going to instantly enjoy this fragrance. I went filming today. I didn't have my camera guy available with me to film me get ladies reactions and my other camera guy wasn't available. It's just been a hectic day. So I decided to take my tripod outside and go film. Majority of the reactions I got were out of frame except for one. I'll put it right there for you guys. Okay, you can smell it here as well. It's a new fragrance, very popular right now. So you seems like you like it a lot. Yeah, yeah. From one to 10, what would you give it? Mm -hmm. Can I start it again? Like, I would say it's, mm -hmm. when I would smell it from far, far away, I would say eight. Yeah. Eight? But not for myself. Five. You said the word myself so much. It's a new YSL, myself ah, right okay. here, so. Ah, myself. Yeah. Okay. The girls you saw in the video, one of them said 9.5 and one of them said eight. The other reactions that were not on camera, all the girls said 10. I promise you, I had three girls say 10. If you're looking for compliments, guys, this fragrance is it. Yes, it's not the most groundbreaking DNA, but if you're looking for ladies' reactions and compliments, check the boxes, guys. Like, I'm curious to know uh, what would happen if I put it in a fragrance battle with YSL, YEDP, because that one gets a ton of compliments from me. But right now, this gets a certified ladies' magnet approval. Performance is good. It's not groundbreaking performance, guys. You're gonna get maybe like seven hours out of this one, maybe like six, seven. It's a fresh fragrance. It's not beast mode. I wanna make that very clear. But if you're going to like the office, if you're going on a regular day or date, like seven hours to me is enough, honestly. Like I don't need my fragrance to be extreme beast mode all the time. The first two, three hours, it does project pretty loudly though. Like you are gonna get a ton of projection the first two, three hours. And after that, it kind of loses some of that projection at around maybe like the five, six o'clock mark. It starts to become more of a skin scent. So in my opinion, performance is solid on this one for a fresh fragrance, seven hours. Projection is good for the first two, three hours. So this one gets my thumbs up for performance, but if you're looking for beast mode, this is not it, guys. You can wear it to the office, you can wear it on a date. I think you should definitely wear it on a date because I'm telling you, the girls' reactions that I got from this one was top tier. I had a Spanish girl, she said Rico, and I had to like walk away and Google it, like, yo, what is Rico? And Rico means rich, so I was like, Oh, maybe she thinks it's like an expensive, classy kind of fragrance. I'm telling you guys, extremely versatile. You can wear it in the winter, you can wear it in the spring, summer, and fall, any season, any occasion. This fragrance is extremely versatile, extremely mass appealing. It will not let you down in that category. Now the elephant in the room is how does it compare to YSLY? They are similar, but completely different at the same time. What I mean by similar is they're both extremely mass appealing, but if you own both of these, it's not redundant in my opinion. I think both could be worn in the same situations. So if you're looking for, let's say an alternative to what you currently have, like let's say you already have YSLY EDP, you're like, ah, oh, I just don't wanna have a one fragrance collection. I wanna have something else that I could wear just as much as this one, extremely mass appealing. This is a fantastic choice. This is more fresh, more woody, this one right here is more fresh and more sweet. Like the apple in this one right here is pretty prominent. With this one right here, it's more of an orange blossom and broxen dose. Why I sell myself though is a little bit more classy than this one. Like why I sell why EDP is still classy, don't get me wrong, but it's a little bit sweet, a little bit more youthful. This one right here is a little bit more mature. Like if I was to put like an age range on it, which I don't really consider age range a factor, but like this would be somebody in their 30s, this would be somebody in their 20s. Like again, doesn't mean you have to be in your 20s to wear it, but this is the kind of vibe I'm trying to give you, right? So this one here comes off a little bit more mature, a little bit more classy. This one right here comes off a little bit more youthful. But overall, both of these fragrances, guys, are fantastic choices and it's not redundant to own both. So what's my final verdict on why I sell myself? I think it's a fantastic fragrance and I, and I really mean it. Like at first, I didn't want to buy into the hype. Like again, I live in New York, billboards were full of this fragrance. But the DNA is mass appealing. It's good performance for me, at least like seven hours is okay. It's extremely versatile. Like there's not a situation where I can't wear this fragrance. To me right now, this is probably one of the classiest YSL fragrances on the market. 
and girls just love this fragrance. I swear to God, I asked five girls today and literally three out of the five said 10. The uniqueness factor is not really that important to me. Like it is unique. It's not a clone in any way, shape or form. But again, it's not a groundbreaking DNA, but I don't care about that. When I look for a YSL fragrance, I am looking for mass appeal, okay? So I'm fully aware of that. They're trying to sell the most amount of bottles possible. They're not trying to make a niche fragrance. So in my opinion, top tier fragrance, you should definitely check it out. And I think it's definitely worth having your collection. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, leave a comment below what video you want to see next. Make sure to subscribe. And of course, guys, if you want to follow me on social media, I'll leave it right there for you guys. Have a good day.